onward. Forward. Careful and quiet. You have found your way in, I see. I will attempt to open the passageway below to Jared's stone, but these glyphs are born of Tempest himself. It may be beyond my power. If you would help, climb this tower. See if there is another way to Jared's stone. Very well. You want me? And quiet. Of course. Yes. Hello. What is it? Ready and willing. Name your task. Need something. Your command? Yes. Careful at once. and quiet. Still trying to force the glyphs. Have you found anything? Speak your mind at once. Very well. Very well. You again. I admire your persistence, but come now. I think it is time you accepted the fact that it is not within your power to stop me. There is no need for such empty threats. The only reason you are still alive is because I want you to witness this historical moment. Behold! The circle is complete! What was undone so long ago has been done 
one once more. The doors to the lower plains have been thrown wide. And now my brethren are free to plunder this world for its immortal spoils. Soon the ranks of the Blood War army will swell with thousands of fresh souls. Hold, Pokolin. It will take more than boasting to bring you victory this day. Careful and quiet. Jared Stone. I have never seen it. The glyphs, they dissolved once I felt tempest within me, calling me to battle. I know now what I must do. What Jared had to do. The tale of Jared Stone is a lesson in sacrifice. Sacrificing oneself so that others might live. That was Jared's choice. It has taken me a long time too long to realize the nobility in such a gesture. It shows us culture, Imperium. Careful and quiet. Fools! Do you think you can defeat me so easily? The priest has done nothing but delay the inevitable. I still possess the secrets of unlocking the portal. It is only a matter of time before I open the gate once more. Over. Over? On the contrary, my time has only just begun! Macho, macho. Do you need me? Defeated at last, 
the stricken demon fell with a roar that shook the walls of the underground chamber. But the hero's moment of victory was short-lived, for as the form of their vanquished enemy lay broken upon the floor, so too was the power of the shard broken. The companions soon found themselves scrambling to escape as the fortress began to collapse around their ears. No sooner had they emerged from the secret threshold than the entire tower came crashing down, shattering into a million pieces. Triumphantly, the party of adventurers stood among the ruins, basking in the glory of final victory. And as the first rays of dawn glittered off the scattered fragments of the crystalline tower, a light snow began to fall over the once again peaceful town of East Haven. And so ends the final chapter in my tale, with the forces of good triumphant over the forces of evil. It wasn't long before the destroyed town of East Haven was rebuilt, and a new temple dedicated to Tempus was erected upon the site of the buried portal. As for the vanquished demon, Belhifet, defeated on the prime, he was banished back to the depths of hell, where he languished for a period of a hundred years, tormented by the memory of his mistakes, and waiting for the day he would return to Pharaoh and exact his revenge. Ha 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 